Bodometer has become an essential piece of your archery kit. Archers all over the world use Bodometer to track their practice, see their progress, and shoot better. Fun fact, archers have reported that using Bodometer has improved their scores by 10%. If you want to learn how, make sure you follow us on social media and watch the full Bodometer Academy video series. We're always working with our Bodometer Nation to find even more amazing features to add. Bow Profiles is one of those features. Bow Profiles allows you to manage and track multiple bows or bow configurations and easily switch between them with your bodometer. In this video, we'll chat about what bow profiles are and how to use them. Bow Profiles are how the bodometer app keeps your shots and practice sessions organized. You can keep up to three different bow profiles stored on your app. A bow profile is simply a set of information about your bow, including the type, usage, bow setup, and shot angle configurations that make your shot data easier to read. Archers use bow profiles if they have multiple bows or risers, or if they want to keep track of sessions at different distances, or using different limbs, or unique setups. When you create a bow profile, you save your bow setup for that bow directly into your bow profile, which means you don't need to run a new bow setup every time you switch between different bow configurations. For example, I have a compound bow and a recurve bow. I have two profiles stored on my bodometer app. When I move my bodometer from my recurve bow to my compound bow, I don't need to run a new bow setup because it's already stored in my bow profile. Instead, I simply connect my bodometer and start a new session through the app, selecting the right bow profile in the new session screen. The bow setup configuration for that bow profile is pushed to my bodometer and I'm ready to start shooting. The key to using bow profiles is to set them up properly. Watch carefully because this is important. When you first get your bodometer or when you first download the app, you will need to create a bow profile before you can start a new session in the app. To add a bow profile, you go to the menu in the top left and click Bow Profiles. Click on Add a new bow profile and fill out the details. When you get to the Bodometer Shot Sensitivity section, you have several options for how you set it up. This shot sensitivity is your bow setup that gets saved and pushed to your bodometer when you start a new session through the app. You can head back to the Bodometer Academy parts two and three to learn all about bow setup. If you click use current setup, the app will take the bow setup that's stored on your bodometer right now and save that as the bow setup for this bow profile. So if you've already run a bow setup directly on your bodometer, Simply connect your bodometer and click Use Current Setup in the Bow Profile screen to link that bow setup to this bow profile. If you haven't already run a bow setup on your bodometer and you're somewhere that you can safely shoot arrows, you can click Run Bow Setup right from the Bow Profile screen when your bodometer is connected. You won't even need to touch your bodometer. Just follow the instructions, shoot three arrows and click Done and then your bow setup will be saved to that bow profile. You'll see a number on the screen on the app beside the words current setup. This number is a representation of your bow setup. It doesn't really have units. It's our own patented way of translating data profiles into a readable form. If your current setup says 7,000, that's the bodometer default. In this case, default is bad. Every archer shoots differently, even with the exact same bow. You want to tune your bodometer to know what a shot profile is for you. So, the bodometer app won't let you start a session with a default bow setup. So make sure your bodometer shot sensitivity isn't 7000. If it is, it means that yours didn't save properly and you should run it again. Now, let's talk more about this shot sensitivity slider underneath. If you have a lot of variation in your technique shot over shot, you may need to tweak your bow setup. Some recurve and bare bow shooters especially, notice bodometer doesn't pick up every shot due to fatigue or form variation or even techniques like string walking. If you find bodometer is missing some real shots, 
you can come into your bow profile and use the slider to loosen your profile without having to shoot more arrows. Simply drag the slider to the left, save the profile and start a new session. You can repeat this as many times as you want until you find the best profile for you. Conversely, if you find that Bowdometer is counting shots that aren't real shots, like when you put your bow on your bow stand or your limbs hit the ground when you're coming off the line, you should try tightening your bow setup. Use the Bodometer shot sensitivity slider to tighten the bow setup by sliding it to the right. You can repeat this as many times as you want to find the best profile for you. The final detail you can optionally set is your shot angles. Watch part nine of the series to learn all about shot angles. Here, you can specify which angle is cant, tilt, and torque from the available angles one, two, and three for each bow profile. Once they're set, when your session is done, your shot details and charts will be properly labeled as cant, tilt, and torque, so you don't need to remember which angle is which when you're looking at it. Make sure you always save your bow profile after creating it or editing it. Once your profiles are set, you select which profile you're using when you start a new session. Then, when you're looking at your previous sessions and data, you can filter the charts and session list by your bow profile. At Bodometer, data integrity is really important to us. So if you start a session on your Bodometer without using the app, we don't know for sure which profile you intended to use. So you can find those sessions in the unassigned bow profile filter. Bow profiles make it easier than ever to manage your practice sessions. Take your time to set them up right. And just remember, if you don't save your bow setup on your bodometer to a bow profile, it will get overwritten the next time you start a session through the app. Being consistent with how you start and manage sessions will help you get the most out of your bodometer experience. We have so many more fun features planned in the future that will expand on bow profiles in really exciting ways. Our Bodometer Nation helps us shape these features and more. So make sure you're part of our social media community and our Facebook group to be part of the conversation. Most importantly, have fun doing what you love and stay motivated to keep practicing with Bodometer.